welcome back to another video with South Coast Angler. So today we are down Pevensey Bay. Um, as you can see behind us, it is perfect for the flatfish, absolutely perfect. So uh, we're down here, we just got to wait for the uh, black lug to come into the shop at Angler's Den and we're going to go down there and collect them. But the old boy next to me, he's uh, just got here as well and I asked him if I could leave my gear here while uh, I go pick up the black lug. I'll get him a wrap of blacks for the uh, hassle. So yeah, happy days. We've got the rods out. Well, not out, but we've got the rods set up. Uh, just waiting for the phone call from Angler's Den so we can go pick up our fresh black lug. Because it's just arriving. And uh, hopefully we get fishing. The guy next to us has already had, a, a, I think, four rockling. He's only been here about 20 minutes. So there's a few fish out there. I just hope there's a few flatfish out there. It does look good for him. So fingers crossed we can get into a few. We've got fish with Matt coming down a bit later. He's going to be joining us. He's going to be fishing into the evening and uh, it should be a good day. Happy day. As you can see, people, I'm wearing a Sea Weights hoodie today. Um, I've actually been asked by Craig at Sea Weights if I'd like to join a team. So, uh, of course, I said, yeah. I've been using his gear for a, a few weeks now, a few weeks to a month. And I'll tell you what, it's absolutely awesome. I'll show you the rig I'm using today. It's got uh, the Sea Weights weights on. Here we got one of the Sea Weights uh, grippers. These are completely glow in the dark and they shine up absolutely awesome. And I've paired it up with uh, one of the Sea Weights two at clip down rigs. Things I like about these, these rigs is the focuses. See on there he uses gummy knots rather than, uh, rather than crimps and I think they just make the rig a lot more sturdier. And we've got some nice glow in the dark pop ups on there. <sighs> These are the Sea Weights gripperless grippers, perfect for the flatfish. See the bubbles there? They're perfect to bob around the seabed, stir up the sand. That's what the place like. They like to see a bit of uh, movement in the water, and that's what attracts them. But that's a pretty, pretty nice lead for the daytime, nice and bright. And hopefully, see if it does the job. We're just going to wait for this lug, go pick it up and hopefully get into a few flatfish. Happy days. We have got some manky old black lug with us today. We haven't got the fresh yet. So while I'm waiting for the phone call, I'm just going to ch chuck a free hook flapper out with some uh, manky old black lug on it. I'll tell you what, it bloody stinks. So we'll get that cast out. We might even be able to get a fish before we get the phone call. So this, uh, this rod's only been out there about five minutes, but well, probably about 10 minutes now. But we're getting a few inquiries on it. We're still waiting for the phone call to get the, uh, the fresh black lug. But we're getting bites on the frozen lug, which is good. Frozen sticky lug. I think we might have a look at this. See if there's anything on there. Oh, you're joking me. Gotta be joking me. What a joke. First fish, tiny little waiting. The bait has arrived. We're gonna go down and pick it up. Black lug has landed. Fresh dug this morning. Oh, look at those. Beauties. Happy days. It's really cheap down here for black lug. £3.40 a wrap. For fresh ones as well. It's happy days that. Sweet. Right, let's get some of these on. Get it the out. The that I left out while I was getting uh, the fresh blacks. We've got Target Acquired. Lovely little dad. Happy days. He's only tiny. But uh, we'll get him unhooked. We're getting back. Sweet. We're getting bite straight away on the uh, fresh black lug. On both rods, in fact. I only put the one fresh bit of lug on uh, the free hook flapper, and the other two are frozen. 
There you go, that's a nice bite on the right hand rod there. But we're going to leave it five minutes to see if we uh, can't attract uh, another fish on there. We've got two hooks there, so more fish the merrier. Got the microphone in my pocket, it's no good, is it? Let's have a look at this one. Seems to be some weight there. Not so much now, to be fair. Don't there's anything there. There's nothing there, bugger. Probably just going to cast this straight back out because it's still a decent bit of lug on there. Bit of a funky cast that. So I've got a, got a big mound behind me. A bit difficult to cast out. Sweet. We've got a fair bit of weight on this one. Might have a double shot. Definitely a bit of weight on here. On the Sea uh, Weights 2 at clip down rig. Come on. Be a double shot of uh, flatties. We did have a nice flatty bite to be honest. Nice bit of weight there. You watch, it'll be a whiting. If it is a whiting, it's at least two. Don't embarrass me. Ah. Oh. What is it? That is a lovely little place. Happy days. Lovely lip hook. Look at that. Happy days. Let's turn you round. That's the second species acquired. Lovely little place. Happy days. Got a bobbly bits in the head so you can tell if it's a place. And obviously the, uh, the lovely orange spots. Sweet isn't that? One dab, one place. Get her in the bucket for a few minutes, we'll get them back. There we go. Another lovely little dab. This one's got uh, some brown markings on its back. Look at that. Like he's got a dirty towel. Yeah. Happy days. Another dab. Two dabs in a place now, almost back to back. Got three in the bucket. And it's been uh, the fresh black that's been doing all the job. So big shout out to Angler's Den for that. I might even try tipping some with squid. See what happens. There we go, a couple of dabs and a lovely little place. Happy days. Let's get them back. Here we go, I've just pulled in a lovely, uh, lovely double shot. One place, one dab. Happy days. On this sea weights, two at clip down rig, cast at distance in Pemsey Bay. Sweet. Look at those beautiful spots in that place. Absolutely beautiful. I'll give it a little measure. The other one was 28. 
I think this one's going to be slightly bigger. Let's have a look. There we go. Just hitting 32. Just hitting 32 centimetres. That's not a bad place at all. Right, we'll get these in the bucket, get them unhooked. Happy days. It's going well so far, to be fair. We're getting bites nearly every cast. Um, we've now had three dabs and two plates. The biggest place going 32 centimetres, and the other place was uh, 28 and a half centimetres, or something like that. It seems the plates are further out, and the dabs are closer in. I think we're going to run out of beach. Hopefully not. Yeah, we're getting a fair amount of bites. It's lovely being out here. I'm boiling. I've got my thermals on underneath, but I didn't need them. I probably could have worn shorts today. Well, well, at least I remember my sunglasses for once. Makes a change. I haven't seen many other flat fish come up along the beach, apart from what I've caught. The two people either side of me I've only caught rockling and whiting. Very strange. Maybe I'm getting that a little bit further out. What a beautiful day. No wind, blue skies, the sun's shining, and we're catching fish. There you go, guys. Dab number four. Only a tiny little thing. All our uh, fish were caught on black lug today so far. It's the only bait we've got. We've got a little bit of frozen, a little bit of fresh, and sometimes we're tipping off with a bit of squid. But I don't think that's making much difference tipping off with the squid. Fresh black's just as good as anything. Happy days. We're at high tide now. I've got a, per, I've got two and a half hours left of fishing, and then we're going to be sending it home. Happy days. We're on the fish. I literally can't believe how lovely it is out here today. It is absolutely amazing. And it's an absolute bonus to be catching fish today. Happy days. Look at that cool view. Lovely view across Pevensey Bay. Bring on a few more fish, hopefully. Right, we had a couple of bites in this rod. Have a look, see what we got. If we've got anything. A bit worried that I'm going to be tangled up with the other rod. Hopefully it'll be alright. I don't know if there's anything there. I don't think we've got anything there. Empty bottom hook. Oh well, let's get it baited up, let's get it back out. There you go. Another dab, oh, slippery dab. Little dip dab. I think that's number five of the day. Five dabs, two place. Happy days, they're only small though. It's a shame because I wouldn't mind taking a dab home over for my dinner. But I've never tried dab. Yeah. Woo! Let's get him back. Happy days. All right, let's have a look at this one. I think I've been having a few little nibbles. Bit of weight there. I think so, anyway. Oh. 
probably a dab. Nice if it was a flounder. I don't have one of them yet. Guy next to me's had a flounder. Uh, looks like it's another dab. Another little dab. There we go. Probably the biggest of the day, to be fair. Still not very big. Sweet. Getting unhooked and then uh, getting back. Oh, look at that. It came straight out. Beautiful. So it's going well today, going really well. We've had six dabs two place and two whiting so far. Um, most of the fish have been caught casting a lot further out. I'm not really getting too much casting close in. Uh, but I've still got uh, one rod to cast close in because you never know, something big might come through. But apparently I was talking to an old boy that's uh, behind me. He said the other week it was non-stop. They couldn't keep two rods in the water so they went down to one. He said today it's a completely different story, very slow. But um, I said to him, I said, this is amazing compared to Portsmouth. Portsmouth during the daytime is just not even worth a dabble. But uh, I've done really well today. I'm, I'm happy with what I've caught. I'm glad I made the trip down here. I'm glad I brought some nice, cheap, fresh black, what, lug, uh, fresh black lugworm. £3.40 for 10. You cannot grumble at that. Anyway guys, I'm going to sit back, watch the rod tips, hopefully get a few more bites and uh, it'd be nice to catch a flounder. So if we can bag a flounder before we go. We've got about an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah, about an hour and 45 minutes left. So hopefully we can bag some in that time. Happy days. Catching fish in the day. I love it. Another lovely dab. They've all been around the 21, 22 centimetre mark today. Nothing bigger. We're getting bites on the right hand rod. I'm getting about a dab of cast casting further out. But yeah, you can tell they're dabs because if you hold them up to light, they're almost see through. Yeah, happy days. Yeah, we're getting a good little bite on that right hand rod. Hello. Let's have a look. Something there. This could be a couple of fish or one nice fish. Joking me. Dogfish and a dab. Bloody hell. Is that a dab or? That's a dab. I didn't think I'll be getting a dogfish today. 
What's that? Doggy, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you keeping it? No, I'll, I'll put them in there for now. Yeah, there's quite a few uh, doggies about. They've been getting them at uh, night time mainly. I thought I had a, I had a nice um, a nice place on there, but bloody things. What's that in there? Got, I what think. else you got in there? There's a little dab in there. Those insects have come out, haven't they? Oh yeah. They often do that, don't they? They normally regurgitate their uh, stomach. Oh well, different species. Yeah. I lost some of my cattle, so I put one the other way. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Sweet. Free up flapper. With squid. No, we've uh, black lugged it with squid. Not going to chuck it out too far. Just a little 30 yard, yard chuck. And there he is. Days. So the latest double shot comes is ugh, a doggy slapping me in the face and another little dab. Happy days, let's get him back. I've just got a welly full. The latest double shot on the sea wage brig. Placing a rockling. Happy days. Only small, so we'll get them both back. We're on the fish. Double shot's coming in nicely now. What is that, a three beard? One, two, three, four. That's a five beard rockling. Only a small one, little ugly things. Look here. <laughs> and a little place. Which is gonna need a little bit of surgery. Happy days, guys. Placing the rockling. Safely unhooked, no blood. Let's get him back. Beautiful. Happy days. Well, I've only got just over an hour left to catch the big daddy place. So we'll get some fresh uh, black lug back on. We'll get the baits fired out. But it's good to see we've had a few species today. We had dogfish, whiting, rockling, place and dabs. Just need a flounder. Give me a flounder. But the uh, the sea weights two hook clip down rig with size three hooks has been doing the business today. I must admit. I must admit we've had I think three three double shots on it. So yeah, happy days all round. Let's get some black lug on here and we'll get it out. We're getting some nibbles on the left hand rod, so we're gonna have a little look. We've only got time for another, maybe three casts, if we're lucky. Do we have some weight on that? I think. Maybe. Might be lying. Oh no, there's definitely something there. Definitely something, probably a little dab. We shall see. Oh yeah, little dab on the surface. A 
Is it a dab? Hello? Yep, little dab. Ooh. It's quite a fat little thing. A bit of razor fish down here. I found a bit of razor fish on the beach. So, I'm going to tip the top one off with razor fish. Never used it before. I've seen people use it. There we go, a little bit of razor in there. I'll do it on the other one as well. So I know this uh, can be good for the place. There we go. Get her clipped up and get her out. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Two blacks tipped off with razor clam. Let's see if we can get a little release of this lovely little dab. It's very, really fat, this one. Probably the uh, biggest of the day. Very fat. Look at that. Oh. Should go now. There he goes. Happy days. So we've been getting a few bites in this uh, the C H two at flapper rig again. I've just brought in a whiting on it and just chucked it straight back out. Don't feel very heavy to be fair. Might have missed whatever it was. Uh, nothing there. It's bloody typical, curse of the camera. Every time I turn the camera on when I get a bite, don't get the fish. The bait's been stripped. So it's stripped. Right guys, so it's now currently 20 past, no, no it's not, it's 10 past three. Um, I need to get out of there at half past three. Otherwise I'm gonna be in trouble with the missus. If I don't make it home for a, just gone five o'clock, I think I'll be in some trouble. But look, we're getting bites. So hopefully we'll see uh, maybe another fish or two. And we'll try and get one more cast in, because we're now at 10 past three. So I'll bring, bring the both rods in in a minute, and we'll have one more cast. And hopefully that's the lucky last for a nice 40 plus centimetre place. Oh, come on. The weather's still lovely out here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I wish I could stay. You know, that's life. Look at the dirt those trucks are picking up. I must be really peeing off those anglers up the top. Oh well, the councils have got to do what they've got to do. It's absolutely beautiful down here. Look how quick the tide's gone out. The tide came in really slowly, but it's just absolutely rushed out. It's absolutely mental. 
We're on our last cast, guys, so it uh, won't be long before we're heading off home. We've got things to do this evening. It's a shame we couldn't stay and fish the evening tide. You know, maybe next time. Happy days. We just had a whiting on uh, one of our rods when we was doing uh, the last bait change. But hopefully we get a nice fat place on the last cast. Right then, it's that time. That old fisherman dread. Winding in the last cast. I'll do the free hook flapper first because that was to get in some bites. Doesn't feel like there's anything on here though. A few little nibbles on the other rod. No, nope, there's nothing on the free hook flapper. Hasn't been very productive today, that free hook flapper. Very strange. Right. While we're here, we'll uh, bring in the other rod, and then what we can do then, we can just do a quick pack down. Yeah, it could be something small on here. Probably a whiting. The bites we were getting looked very whiting-like. Stranger, they've only just turned up now. Yep, yeah. It was a little whiting, and it's fallen off down the beach there. I'll go and get it back. Oh, don't tangle those. It's the last thing I'll need when I need to pat down quick. Let's get him back, stop him from suffering. Oh wow, that's a really, really skinny whitey. Really long. Happy days. The whiting is back in the water. So just a little summary of today, guys. I caught most of my fish today on this Sea Weights two at clip down rig with a uh, black lug at distance. Um, I, I did have a few fish on the three hook flapper, but not as many as I did on the two hook clip down rig. It worked really well today. Look at those leads, they're amazing. The detail and quality is unreal. I did lose um, a lead wire though, unfortunately. Oh well, look at that, beauty. Right guys, I'm gonna end the video here. We had, a, we had a great day. I think I had eight or nine dabs, five whiting, three place, a rockling, and a dogfish. So overall it was a good day. You wouldn't catch those that amount of fish down Portsmouth. I'll tell you that for free. But yeah, it's been a lovely day. Absolutely wonderful. Wouldn't be surprised if I got a bit Thank of Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. That would really help me out. Until next time guys, tight lines, and we'll see you soon. Ciao for now.